because there's not all that much tape on it. I think what I'll do is I'll just put glue on the outside edge of it here. Can't really see it. I'll put glue on the outside edge. And that tape will hold it and that'll dry. I don't even need to put some. Although, you know what, I can. I guess if you can, you should, right? So I'll go ahead and put a little on the inside here too. As long as you can see where you're putting the glue, do it. If you can't see, yeah, I put a little glue right down inside there. And what that does is it's gonna catch that on both sides of this little join here. It's enough glue to hold it and that's all it has to be because this will be trimmed quite a bit uh, after all the glue is dried. You can, you can see where everything goes. There's glue down in there. So I'm gonna cut a piece now to fit this side over here. And just like this one, it's going to be kind of a custom fit. And that should give me a, a pretty good eyebrow, which will be complete. That'll be dried by in a day or so, and we'll get that squared away. Looks like I got a piece of paper dropped in there that I didn't need. I'll just pull that out of there. But you can see the glue is starting to settle in on the, starting to settle in there. And that's what I wanted. It's getting good and solid. So I'm now ready to put this eyebrow on. And I remember this one's a lot sharper curve, so I'm going to go ahead and cut for a much sharper curve here. You can see what I'm doing. I don't think it needs to be as long as what I initially did it. It's Yep. Go ahead and trim that off to allow me to do the work. Nope, not sharp enough. Let's try it this way. Yeah, maybe. That looks like... Yeah, maybe. Loosen this curve up a little bit. Remember, what I'm trying to do here is make sure that this plane here is angling downward as it attaches to that, and it's okay if it cuts pretty close across it. I'm going to shorten it quite a bit there. Oh yeah, that's way too long. There it is. Yep, that's pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape that. Oops, yep, all but run out of tape here. Got a few little pieces. I know that's going to be trimmed off, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that off too. Now you'll notice this doesn't really look like this piece over here, but a lot of this piece is going to get trimmed off, and this one shouldn't need quite so much trimming since it's going to fit a little better to start with. Yeah. Looks like that one right there needs to be a little less sharp. A little bit less bend to it. And there it is. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and tape her on. I'll put a little more tape to it. Put it on backwards. That's pretty funny. I did exactly that. <laughs> Started to tape it backwards. Sometimes you get interesting results when you just flip a piece of paper around and see what it does, but 
I'm actually going for a specific look here, so that's not what I want to do. There, that's on there. There. I'll put a piece of tape there, which I need to pull. You can see it's not. This is not the world's easiest thing to make happen. So if you get to your to the point where you are just really, really, really frustrated with this, just leave it off. It's okay. There's no law saying it has to have eyebrows at this point. And if the eyebrows are making your tiki impossible to function with, well, ditch them. Try something else. Because this one wants to be uncooperative. And if I'm having trouble with it, I imagine you might too. But there's the curve trying to happen this way, and it popped itself back up this way. Which is not a big deal. I'll just lay it back down in there. And I'm going to put a piece of tape to hold it there going together real nicely on the inside here is the top side that's being contrary so I'll just hold it to the inside and let the top side do what it does I don't think I'm even going to put much tape there maybe a little piece there just to hold it in place there it is so I don't have to put any tape here so I'll just leave that untaped so I can put the glue on that inside and it's trying to oops, got glue on it somewhere. It's trying to pull itself away there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add tape to that. And now help hold it in place. And if it's not a perfect join here, it doesn't matter as long as it's as long as it holds on. And we're pretty close, and that's what I want. It's pretty close. I think pretty close we'll get the job done now this one that you can see the eye, the eyebrow kind of wraps around this way and this one it's kind of doing the same thing it's a little bit different shape but it doesn't matter as long as it's close so that's what we're going to do we we'll just put a load of glue down inside that to hold it in place glue the other one and we're done for the day with this tiki I have three more that I'm working on simultaneously that I started with each individual class. So when we come back to school, they'll be able to look at those and say, oh, okay, that's how that turned out. It's not what you'd call critical, but it seems to me that continuity is a good thing, especially when we're living in much, much, much uncertainty right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the, I'm, I'm putting the glue in that little area where it created a bit of a trough put a little glue on the inside of that trough you can't really see it but there's an opening right there where I could get in to where these paper pieces join I'm just going to do just enough to hold it in place that one I would put tape there but it's got wet glue on it and there's no point in putting tape over wet glue because it will not hold I'm just going to let that be. I do need to put glue right here. It wants to join right there. I don't think there's any glue coming through. Oh, yep, there's a bead working its way. The glue that I poured right here is working its way right through there, and that's that's good. That's what I want. It's going to angle it this way. The glue is right now there, so I'm not going to need to put any more. I am going to put a little piece of tape to hold that downward. That these eyebrows will have slightly different shapes to them. Yeah, the glue is right there. I'm just going to let it stay right there. That should be sufficient, and it is. That's going to be enough to get glue all the way along the seam. There it is. The glue is now, it's run down the seam, it's right there, which is just where I wanted it. And there it is, bang, coming right out. So I'm going to flip it over now, and all the glue should. It will now, gravity will be my friend. It will hold it on the inside edges, and that's where I want it. 
and you can see these eyebrows are not going to be symmetrical when it's done and, and that's okay that's that's pretty normal when the when the glue is all dry and the tape is all off I'll trim those eyebrows to, to match their contours and they'll be a lot closer and I'll put a filler piece right here that it'll probably be two triangular shapes that kind of allow that to go this way I'll put a triangular shape here to be a, a fill on that and probably a triangular piece here to be a fill on that and that will be the completion of the three-dimensional structure on my tiki and on the next day we work on this what I'm gonna do well you know what let me experiment a little bit with the nose we may or may not mess with this much I've got a kind of an odd shape here I think you know what I think we will we're gonna make some interesting bits for the nose so that wants to go this way we'll just wrap it right around the nose there that wants to there so I'm going to put a curving shape up over the nose here so it becomes like a nostril No, I think what I'll do is wrap it. Ooh, yeah, that'll be interesting. What if I wrapped it like that and it was round on the back? That is exactly what we'll do. So I'm going to put a little curvature in this. And before I cut it all and glue it all, I'm going to make sure I've got another piece that's pretty similar in shape and size. I just happen to have this piece laying right here. We're going to make them close. You know, don't got to be perfectly identical, but we start from a place that's pretty close. It makes it easier to kind of line it up later. So I'm going to save that one for the other side, and this one is going to be a nostril. I'm just going to wrap it around. Pull off enough tape. This has turned into a pretty long video and that's okay. You can fast forward to it whatever bit you get to if you don't if you don't like to sit and watch all of it, don't. You can fast forward, rewind, whatever makes you happy. Peel that out of the way. you're not part of my art class and you're watching this, just know that this is one of my favorite projects that I get great enjoyment out of doing. And I find that my students either love it or hate it. There is very little in between. And you can't predict which students will love or hate it. Some of them just really love it and don't love much else but some some students love everything else about art class and get to tiki and are like oh my god why are we doing this so <laughs> it's hard to predict See what we've done to the to create that nostril structure there we'll probably have to trim and adjust that too in the next day but I think we'll go with that right there that'll give us a pretty dramatic shape it's ready to glue on sides of it there to keep it locked in. Mm -hmm. 